let's take a minute to talk about our testing procedures before we get started. Yeah, that's really a great idea. Uh, we need to lay down some strong controls because we're dealing with things like signals and they're pretty much intangible, so we need to make sure everything is tested the same way so our results are truly scientific. Now, before we even get started with the Cantana, we're going to get some baseline data with our USB card and its regular 2 decibel antenna. What would be even better? Maybe we should lay down a total control to test the USB card with no antenna at all. In addition to that, we're going to take this 5 decibel antenna, which is a high gain antenna, and see it can reach the mystic performance of the Cantana. That's a good idea. I mean, these cost around 15 to 20 dollars in the store. If we could eliminate the need for these with a Cantana, we might be saving people some money. But let's take it a step further. There's a lot of other free antennas and cheap antennas out there, so let's try the old-fashioned windsurfer antenna. If you look on YouTube, you're likely to see a bunch of these. It's basically cardboard with aluminum foil around the back, and it's a perfect curve to catch and focus the signals. Now, if the Cantana is a cheap antenna, then this is a ridiculously cheap antenna. It's basically foil and paper. You can make this in five minutes. So let's put it on the regular antenna, see how that works. We'll put it on the high-gain antenna. We'll test everything. But lastly, we need to test the Cantana. And uh, the Cantana is directional, so I think where these others will be focusing in all directions at the same time, let's test these for five minutes, and then test the Cantana for 20 minutes, once in each of four directions. You may notice we have this on a tripod. That's because all of our testing will be done on this tripod so that every card is in the same position at the exact same height. So there's no variance in the positioning between any of the cards which could skew the data. That's a great idea. I think we're ready to go. Hold on a second. We're not ready yet. Yeah, I totally know where you're going with this. I can hear the people writing in now. They're going to say, well, of course the Cantan is going to work better. It's just a bunch of metal. And everyone knows that metal grabs signals. Yeah, we all remember the old rabbit ears. You throw a coat hanger on there, maybe some aluminum foil, and you got great reception. So let's make one of those for our wireless internet. If that's a Cantana, I guess this is a Craptana. Just some old pieces of metal and sort of a random shape. Let's attach this and see what we can do. I really like the aluminum foil on there. I feel that all of this surface area is really going to grab a lot of signals and if this doesn't work, then we know it's just not a bunch of metal that focuses the signal. Exactly. 